we're gonna try this again. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, I tell ya. Alrighty, so take two, we're back. <laughs> I'm hoping that we are where we need to be, yeah. Gosh, I don't know, maybe it's a Facebook thing. Maybe it isn't me, because it looks like I was live there. That is so weird. Hi, Lori. Happy Sunday crafternoon at a different time. <laughs> anyway, so I did my regular Facebook Live earlier at um, 1 o'clock. And I wanted to show you guys a technique. Super easy. I've had a couple of you, more than a couple, asking about how to do this. And I didn't want to do it during my Facebook Live that I normally do on Sundays at 1 o'clock because after about an hour, I lose everybody. So I thought, you know what? I can always jump on, just not clean everything up quite yet, jump back on after a little break and show you guys how to do this technique. I don't know what to call this other than beautiful backgrounds. A uh, couple things that you will need are some pieces of basic white paper and any cardstock that you would like to use for a background. And of course, you'll wanna choose some ink colors. I chose four of the five in colors and using blending brushes. And also, I decided to use this embossing folder again. It is the Layered Floral 3D Embossing Folder. And I love the deep impression that our 3D embossing folders give. I, I, maybe it is Kristen. I got your text. So yeah, maybe it's a Facebook thing. I, <laughs> but I apologize nonetheless that I hopped on, got on, off, and then back on. But anyway, we're here and we're going to go ahead and show you guys a fun little technique. I hope that you'll try it. There you are. I see you. Yay. <laughs> so we're going to try a really fun, quick technique to show you how to do this. And like I said, be experimental. Use some different colors and things. Woohoo! I'm glad you found me. Um, and try this technique with different embossing folders and things. And think of like the holidays and things too. I think that would be really pretty with some of the embossing folders that we have as far as that goes. So once again, you have your inks. You're going to need a Memento Black ink pad. And yes, this is a Memento Black ink pad that I makeshifted into a Memento Black. This is um, originally a um, opaque our, our opaque white ink pad that comes with a ink refill. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Different time. I'm catching you guys off guard. I think I'm a little off guard myself. Anyway, so what I did, and I know I've talked about this before, and I was just talking about it on the other live that I hopped on, hopped off, but um, what I did is I ordered the, the white opaque ink pad with the ink refill, and instead of inking this up with white ink, I used a Memento uh, black ink refill and inked this pad up instead. And now we have a foam felt pad that actually works better with our photopolymer stamps instead of this. Like I love the ink. And of course, we need this ink when we use our Stampin' Blends. But sometimes it doesn't play so well with our photopolymer stamps. And I was explaining before I had to jump off to get back on to Facebook, um, that I also use this eraser right here. If you guys have one, I've had this forever. And um, there's like a film on our photopolymer stamp. So uh, between doing this by using the eraser on the stamp itself to help remove some of that, and then also using this foam felt pad, it's worked a tremendously better to get some really nice impressions with black ink. But anyway, just thought I'd share that again. I know I shared it a couple of times, but you never know who might be new and watching. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to move these out of the way. I just thought it looked kind of pretty, right? <laughs> Looks like a little rainbow. But I'm going to go ahead and take these uh, to the side here. And let's see. What do I want to do first? Let's go ahead and grab the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And being that we are going to use a 3D embossing folder, the only things that you will need for your sandwich will be the base plate, 
and then this plate here, the specialty plate, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and take a piece of, this is Petunia Pop. You can choose any color that you like. And I cut it to four by five and a quarter. We're gonna make a card front. And I'm gonna go ahead and sandwich this piece of paper into the 3D embossing folder. And then taking my gray specialty plate, and we are gonna run it. Ooh, that's like really close for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> Up close and personal there. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run this through. Whoops. You know what? I am missing a plate, aren't I? Do, 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 do. No, I'm not. That's good. Okay. I went outside for a bit. It must have thrown me off. Too much sun. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, funny me. So we have. Oops. Beautifully embossed piece of cardstock. So what we're gonna do is get this fella right out of the way. We're gonna need him again in just a little bit. And I want to grab a piece of scrap paper because I don't wanna get all this ink all over my background here. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do tone on tone. So this is the Petunia Pop ink pad and have you guys noticed for those of you that have purchased our new ink pads how juicy they are um so yeah pretty crazy what we're going to do though instead of using the side that you would normally use as the raised image on the top we're going to turn it and we're going to use the back side of it and I, what i'm going to do is this basically direct to paper with my ink pad and slowly go ahead and run it across. It's that easy, you guys, isn't that fun? So I'm gonna go ahead and again, I'm gonna get ink all over me. I know it, but that's okay. It's all good, whoops, I didn't, there we go. And it looks like velvet, I love it. Now I'm pushing a little harder than I probably should have. You'll notice that on my sample, I didn't push quite as hard, but still, look at that. Isn't that cool? And then you'll want to go ahead and take a card base. And I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and just build the card, and then we'll build the next card. How's that? I did grab Sweetly Scripted. Happened to be one that was just jumping out at me. And I've also cut a piece of basic white cardstock, four by three quarters of an inch so we could fit one of these sentiments across there. Let's go ahead and do a million thanks. I really like that. I send out so many thank you cards. Um, let's see here, I think it's this one. Yeah, looks like it. So I can always use, excuse me, always use another card. A thank you card that is. Whoops, that is not. And of course, I'm naughty. I don't put stickers on my stamps. I know. Bad, bad me. Okay, and we're going to go ahead. We're going to center it-ish. So grab my black ink pad. And I'm going to make sure this is right side up. It is. Okay, good deal. Never hurts to test it first, right? And there we go. And then what I'm going to do is just take our multi-purpose glue just to make sure it sticks because we're doing the opposite of what we normally would and stick it onto your card front and then stick this on top. And there you have a beautiful card in a matter of minutes. And of course you can embellish it with all the pretty things that we have, but isn't that cool? I love it, I love it. So now let's go ahead and do it with like a rainbow technique. How about we try that? So let's see here. Put that aside and I'm gonna go ahead because that's highly distracting. <laughs> Start sort of fresh. And again, this is a piece of four by five and a quarter piece of basic white paper. And what we're gonna do is take my pretty ink pad colors. We're going to start to make a beautiful rainbow. Actually, it's not going to look so pretty at first, but trust me, 
it's going to turn out really cool. So we're going to go ahead and take your blending brush. Yeah, we'll do it this way. I'll say the sample is a little different, but that's okay, right? All good. And like I said, experiment with colors. I think that this would be really, really pretty in like Christmas colors, things like that. All right, so you have a little bit of that. That was Petunia Pop. Then we're going to go ahead and grab Pretty in Pink. And again, we're going to go ahead and just color it up. It doesn't have to be perfect because most of it's going to be covered anyway. You guys see where I'm going with this, right? And then I'm going to grab Peach Pie. Let's see here. Give me some peach pie. That sounds good. When are peaches in season? Is that fall? I don't know. I'm thinking so, but I'm not positive. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab the fourth color. And you can actually use more if you wanted to. I just think if you get too, too many, then it's a little crazy looking. But you do you, right? And then this is Summer Splash. I'm going to go ahead and move that up so you guys can see it. See, it's not so pretty yet, right? We're going to go ahead and we're basically just coloring up the entire piece of cardstock. I think I want that a little more intense. All right, you can always add more ink, right? But it's better to start light and add because once it's there, as you guys know, there's no going back. There's no return. <laughs> All right. So we've added our ink. Move everything out of the way. Bring back the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And let's see here. We're going to go ahead and put our beautiful piece of paper in there. Sandwiched with our specialty plate, run it through. Oop, and I'm shaking, aren't I? Everything. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. I don't know why, but it was like really tight going through that time, holy cow. Okay, take this out. Now you've seen that it's the opposite of what we normally would do. I'm gonna bring in my scrap piece of paper, make sure that the black is locked into place. And we're gonna go ahead and just like magic. Ooh, ah, right? <laughs> All right, and we'll go ahead and do this side. That one didn't cover, there we go. Just add a little more ink as you desire. And there you have another way to do a background. Isn't that cool? So once again, we're gonna go ahead and use the um, basic white thick cardstock. I decided to use that as my card base. And again, grab my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm just waiting for my fingers to turn like black inky stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on like so. And once again, a piece of three quarter by four inch piece. Isn't that fun, Lori? And it's so addicting. I could sit here for hours and do different color combinations or blend it differently on your card so you have, I don't know, vertically, horizontal stripes, whatever you want to do. I mean, the sky's the limit on this for sure. I'm going to go ahead and make this again into a thank you card. Whoops, I need my, need my scrap back. 
I do not want to get ink on this backdrop here. And do, 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 do. there we go. And in that amount of time, we have two thank you cards. Oops. And put that down like so. And again, you can embellish as you like, whether you want to put a ribbon on it or some of our embellishments that we have that are beautiful, sparkly. So bring back the other. Where did it go? Oh my gosh. I lost my other already. But anyway, so there we go. Isn't that fun? Like I said, super quick and easy. And just play. Just play. In fact, you could probably do different backgrounds other than black. I just love the black on it because it just gives it that intense pop of color. But anyway, just thought I'd share. And um, I hope that you like this little bit of a technique. Hi, Anna. It's good to see you. Happy Sunday Crafternoon to you. And by the way, I did drop off the bag yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So you are all set. You have goodies waiting for you. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you do, go ahead and try this with other embossing folders and colors. I would love to see what you come up with. Go ahead and share it either on my business page or in my uh, community, my group on Facebook under Dawn's Creative Chalet Community or Dawn's Creative Chalet Paper Crafting. All right, guys, make it a great day and have a great rest of your Sunday. And I'll see you next Sunday right here at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Bye-bye.